when you are tempted. Hmm. You know, there's a big difference between being tempted, that means a thought entering your mind, and sinning, dwelling on an evil thought, wallowing in it. Everybody is tempted. God didn't tempt you. But when you're tempted, immediately know how to pull down just take the carnal thoughts. Absolutely not. I don't behave that way. Devil, I take authority over you. You're not bringing those thoughts to me. I will live like the mind of Christ is within me. Now, I've seen some people that are tempted lately. And they're tempted to actually give up. I don't know who that is. But I, I know this. God says, don't you dare put down your sword. And you pick up your shield of faith and you hold it up against every fiery dart of the wicked. And don't you dare let your imagination and your thoughts control your life. Either this controls your life or your carnal mind will. You get a choice. The mind of Christ or the carnal mind. It's important that when a thought enters your mind, that you look at the thought. Hmm. Patty once said to me, every sin begins with a thought. She's right. You get an option. If you want to wallow in it, think about it, and dwell on it. If you dwell on it, then it will become an action. If you take the thought when it comes as a fiery dart, you say, absolutely not. My shield of faith is up. I just parked that thought. I am not going there in Jesus' name. Sometimes I cast it down. If it comes from my carnal mind, which can run rampant, or it comes from the enemy, I don't really care. I pull them down. There was a time... I had panic attacks. For six months, my life was total darkness. When I, I called my daddy on the phone, I said, I feel this coming on me. I was, the whole room began to get dark. I could actually feel and sense darkness coming to the room. And the worst panic would come on to me. And um, I, Immediately, the enemy told me, this wasn't my carnal mind. I could tell the difference. I knew the voice of God. I knew the enemy, and I knew my carnal mind. And he said, you know, they're going to take all your children from you if you tell anybody. You're going to lose your kids. They're going to put you in a Lockwood McDonald's hospital. The crazy ward. So I didn't tell nobody. But I'd tell my mom and dad. Something's wrong, and it is really dark. Pray over me. So dad laid hands on me and prayed, and I said, it didn't work. Pray again. <laughs> He'd pray again. The battle I faced was strong, and it was hard against me. And some of you are going through battles that are strong, and they're hard. And it seems like you will not come through them. I went to the Bible. First of all, I turned off all the media. Turned off all the media. And I picked my Bible up. And I began to find all the right scriptures to encourage myself. And morning, noon, and night, I took them like medicine. And for six months, I walked through this with nobody knowing but me and God and my mom and dad. And I came out the other side. One of my kids one time saw a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist said, has anybody in your family ever experienced panic attacks? And they kind of went through and said, yeah, my mom. So what did she take for it? She took the word of God. Oh, you can't do that. You have to take medicine. They don't leave you. They'll never leave you unless you take medicine. Are you looking at me? I don't have panic attacks. I'm whole and healed. I learned how to rest my body, take proper vitamins, rest, renew my mind, and cast on all imaginations. Mm -hmm. The longer